Hey, it's Buddy from Root and Earth, once again out hunting morels on a beautiful spring morning. Just going to talk to you for a minute about uh, habitat a little bit more. I am right along a beautiful creek, as you can see. I am on the flat floodplain just above the creek. We've been having a lot of wind, but this area is holding enough moisture that they seem to really be uh, having good conditions to be fruiting this year. Um, right along the side of a privet thicket, there is wild rose mixed in here, uh, mandrake, what some people call may apple. There are river birch or uh, paper bark birch behind me, some wild cherry trees. There are tulip poplar. I am right next to a hickory, but in amongst the thicket of privet, very thick inside, I will show you, they are fruiting pretty prolifically. There are some more hiding over there. All of them are in very thick underbrush. Um, and I just wanted to come to you to point out that in the Carolinas, at least, I don't know about other parts of the country, but um, if you are walking in open areas that you can easily move through, you might find a few, but more than likely you are not going to find a whole lot. Um, I've been finding quite a few this year, and for a lot of the time that I've been hunting them, I have been either crawling on my hands and knees or on my belly under uh, big privet bushes, uh, large wild roses, some honeysuckle bushes, um, but it's been very uh, uncomfortable down low to the ground hunting. So I just wanted to point out to you that if you can easily move through the area you're in, you might want to look for more dense underbrush because I think the wild swings and temperature and wind that we often experience here in the Carolinas this time of year can contribute to the need for shelter for them. And so they really tuck themselves up under the bushes and brush. So just another little tip. Just wanted to reiterate yet again, um, I've hiked about three miles today and uh, I've got a nice uh, basket full of morels. But once again, I have been crawling through almost impenetrable t thickets like this and just wanted to show you the type of reward you can find yourself in if you are willing to go to the extra effort to go into stuff that seems completely impenetrable. You just take your time, work through it, but I've got a nice little flush that I am on right now that I wanted to show you. There's a few there, and they're hiding all through here, but you can see some clusters. There's more back there, some big boys. But yeah, take your time, get into the thicket that gives thickets its name. So thick that you have to crawl through, you will be rewarded. Privet and wild rose are the main plants that I'm finding them around. Um, hopefully you will too. Good luck.